Next Week in Wolfboro is underwritten by the Downtown Grill Cafe. The Downtown Grill Cafe is located at 33 Main Street in beautiful Wolfboro, New Hampshire, with a fantastic view of Lake Winnipesaukee and Cape Park. Hours of operations are daily from 7 a.m. until 3 p.m. For more information about this underwriter, check out the website, www.downtowngrill.cafe. Welcome to Next Week in Wolfboro. I am your host today, Caden Lang, filling in for William Hunter. Hello, Wolfboro. I'm Shelley Lang, filling in for Caden Lang, this guy right here who is anchoring the show in William's place today. Hey, Caden. Thanks for having me sit in your chair today. Thanks for filling in for me, Mom. So I can cover Will's anchor position. We are coming to you from the Wolfboro Community Television Studios, where we bring your community to view. Thank you to our friends at the Downtown Grill Cafe for underwriting next week in Wolfboro. It is through their support and yours that programs like ours are possible on Wolfboro Community Television. If you'd like to underwrite a program for Wolfboro Community Television, please contact our producers at 569-0219. We did not know William would not be here today until after these added segments were recorded, so you might hear people refer to me as William, but you all know that I am Caden. That said, let's hear about what is happening around Wolfboro from our friends at the Wolfboro Area Chamber of Commerce. Mrs. DeVries and Mr. Bailey are at the Chamber of Commerce Information booth in the train station. Hello, Mrs. DeVries and Mr. Bailey. Good morning and welcome back to Next Week in Wolfboro. My name is Alan and this is... Hi, I'm Mary. And you know that already, but we're here to tell you all the things that we know about this happening in our community this next week. So Mary, let's start right out with the 14th of October. What's happening? That's a Monday, Alan. It's a Monday, Alan. And that's the last day for the 2019 oh, yeah. season of the New Hampshire Boat Museum. So they'll be closing the doors and uh, until early spring. Yeah, look at that. How do you like that? I hope they had a great summer. I know they did. Um, open air landscape art at the Castle in the Clouds. Tell me more about that. That is on Tuesday <coughs> the 15th. And you can call the castle at 476-5900 for more information, and uh, it's open to the public. Great. That's from 1 p.m. until 3 p.m. on the 15th. On the 17th, Hunter Trolley Tours. Oh, my gosh. So this has been ongoing. This is a new event, though, mm -hmm. for Wolf Brothers here, and it's been uh, the, the trolley, Hunter Trolley Tour departs from the Wolf Burrow Inn. Uh, for more information and to reserve your seat, you can call the trolley company at 569-1080. And I don't think I mentioned it departs at 7 o'clock. You did. I was going to if you had Okay, it, there you go. It got me. Okay, the ben, uh, ben Baldwin tournament, a hockey tournament at Pop Whalen Arena at the Wolfboro Rec Center. Um, why and who and how? Yep, so this is um, a memorial tournament and it's over at, as you said, the Pop Whalen Arena mm -hmm. and open to the public. Great. Love to have you there. Yep, you more information on that. Yes. Ah, ah, ah. yes more information it. on that. Call 569-5639. And that's going to be at 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. What's up next? All right. Then we have uh, on the Saturday the 19th, yeah. it is the Northeastern Ballet Theater, which is uh, operates out of Wolfboro, presenting the Legend of Sleepy Hollow, and the performance will mm -hmm. actually be held at Dover High School. The phone number is 834-8834. Okay, Legend of Sleepy Hollow again at the Dover High School. Uh, it's the Northeastern Ballet Theater. Yes. What else do we say about That's that? That's it. That's it. You call that? That's <laughs> on the 19th. That's at 7 p.m. Again, more information on that. Call 834-8834. And last but never least, Wolfboro Friends of Music. Mm -hmm. They are presenting Heifetz on tour. This has been going on for many years. Yep. Uh, and this time around, the performance will be held in Anderson Hall at Brewster Academy. It's a 7.30 p.m. show. Always a great show. Yes. Great music. 7.30 p.m. For more information than what Mary and I have given you, please call 569-2151. These fall colds are terrible. You don't yes, say it terrible. you'll be fine. <laughs> Okay. And a couple other things that are down the road yes. a bit, but it's not too early to uh, start your planning. And in fact, you can register 
for the annual turkey trot. Turkey trot. Yes, right. it takes place on Saturday, November 23rd, but we do have the registration forms here at the Information Center. Sure. Uh, What's it all about? And this is to raise, uh, it's a cooperative event between Wolfboro Lions Club and Wolfboro Department of Parks and Recreation sure. Allen. Sure. And uh, the proceeds from this fundraiser go to uh, the sight and hearing efforts that the Lion Club uh, does Great. for the community. It's a win-win for everybody. Yeah. Isn't that? So you can actually call Parks and Rec if you had questions, 569-5639, but just stop by and say hi to us here mm -hmm. and pick up your form. The other thing that happens the week after the tr turkey trot, so that is Saturday the 30th, yep. is the annual Christmas in Wolfboro Parade. We'd love for you to right sign up, up for that. Oh, yes. Wow. So, you, you know, it takes time to get in shape for the turkey it sure trot is. and to build your float for the parade. So, yep. we wanted to tell you about those two things now. Great. Two things you have to be a participant in or watch, anyhow. Anyhow, I'm glad that you joined us. Mary, do you have something to tell these folks? Remember to shop, dine, and have fun in your town. Hey, that's Wolf Pro, folks. It's nice to have you with us again. Take good care of each other. Give somebody a hug. Bye-bye, and it's back to you, guy. Thank you, Mr. Bailey and Mrs. Trees. Here are some things Mom and I would like to share with everyone. We will start with Friday, October 11th. The Wolf Pro Public Library is closed on Fridays as construction continues, mostly in the old sections of the library now. The Kingswood Knights varsity football team will play Plymouth High School on the Kingswood Alumni Field at 7 o'clock in the evening. This game is part of Kingswood's homecoming on Saturday, October 12th. The Kingswood girls varsity field hockey team plays Merrimack Valley on the alumni field. The field hockey game starts 30 minutes past 12 noon, or noon 30, as our writers like to put it. On Sunday, October 13th. Want to learn how to curl? Don't you need a longer hair to curl? Not hair, Caden. Well, then what are you curling, Mom? Well, Caden, curling's a sport in which two teams of four players each slide 40-pound granite rocks, also called stones, down a sheet of ice towards a target at the other end. Each team tries to get more of its stones closer to the center of the target than the other team. Oh, cool. Maybe I should learn about that. What would I do? Well, the Lakes Region Curling Association is holding a curling clinic at the Pop Whalen Ice and Arts Arena from 5 to 6.30 p.m. this Sunday evening. We will have to check the family calendar and see if maybe we could all go over to the Pop Whalen Ice Arena to learn about curling from 5 to 6.30. Sounds great. Thanks, Mom. Next, we will look at Tuesday, October 15th. Well, Wolfboro, it's time to get your flu shot, and Huggins Hospital has made it easy to get one. Just drive up to the hospital entrance, roll down your window, roll up your shirt sleeve, and bingo, it's done. No charge and no Medicare involvement. The drive through clinic is open from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. Bring your preschool age children to the Wolfboro Public Library for a preschool story time at 10.30 in the morning. The Wolfboro Lions Club meets at the Huggins Hospital Medical Arts Center conference room at 12 noon. Lunch can be purchased at the nearby hospital cafeteria. You might even tell MJ that Peter from the TV station sent you over to get lunch. The Bridge Falls Path by Foss Field is the best place to view the model sailboat races on Back Bay from 1 to 4 o'clock in the afternoons on Tuesdays and Thursdays. The Kingswood Regional High School Knights Boys Varsity Soccer Team will host Kennett High School Soccer Team at 5.30 p.m. on the Kingswood Alumni Field. Quitting smoking isn't easy, but it will be easier with the right help, and help is what Huggins Hospital is offering. The American Lung Association's Fall Free Sum from Smoking program and classes are held every Tuesday from 6 to 7.30 p.m. These classes are held at the Huggins Hospital Medical Arts Educational Center. For more information, please call 569-7500. On Wednesday, October 16th, the Wolfboro Public Library is open from 12 noon until 8 o'clock p.m. on Wednesdays. The Wolfboro Public Library offers an encore presentation of the preschool story hour time at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. It's senior night for the girls' varsity field hockey team. After honoring the senior players, the whole team will play the South Hegan team on Alumni Field at 5.30 p.m. Be there for our seniors on Thursday, October 17th. Bring the children to toddler time story hour at the Wolfboro Public Library. Total Time Story Hour starts at 10.30 in the morning. 
The Wolfboro Area Farmers Market is at Clark Park every Thursday throughout the fall from 12 noon until 4.30 p.m. They often have fresh vegetables, fruits, dairy products, gourmet mushrooms, fresh fish, cod flowers, meats, honey, herbal products, baked goods, vegan ice cream, a variety of prepared foods, and much more. The Bridge Falls Path by Foss Field is the best place to view the model sailboat racing on Back Bay from 1 to 4 o'clock in the afternoons on Tuesdays and Thursdays. If you missed getting your flu shot on Tuesday, Huggins Hospital will be open again for you to get one. Just drive up to the hospital entrance, roll down your window, roll up your shirt, sleeve, and bingo, it's done. No charge and no Medicare involvement. The drive through flu clinic will be open from 2 <clears throat> until 6 o'clock p.m. Molly the Trolley 90 Minutes Haunted Tour Trips are being offered every Thursday night until October 31st. This haunted tour is only appropriate for those 12 years old and older. The Haunted Trolley Tour departs from the Wolfboro Inn at 7 o'clock in the evening. Additionally, the Wolfboro Inn is offering a discount for food at the Wolves Tavern on the night of the tour. For more information or to make reservations which are required, please call this haunted phone number, 569-1080. Then, on Friday, October 18th, the Wolfboro Public Library is closed on Fridays during construction. On Saturday, October 19th, the Castle in the Clouds on Route 171 in Moultonboro presents its free, family-friendly, second annual Halloween pumpkin walk. You can enjoy trick-or-treating on the Jack-O-Lantern Trail and warm beverages by a fire pit. For more information, call 476-5900. Some upcoming and ongoing things for you to consider include... The Wolfboro Lions Club announces its new meeting schedule. Meetings will be held the second and fourth Wednesdays of the month from noon until 1.30 in the afternoon. Meetings will be held at the Huggins Hospital Medical Arts Center Conference Room. You may buy a lunch from the nearby hospital cafeteria and join the meeting at 12 noon. The admission to the Wright Museum is half price if you bring in a donation to the Life Ministries Food Pantry of four canned goods or four non-perishable food items. The special admission price for a food donation will only be valid through the end of October. Registration is open for the Lakes Region Curling Association's Fall 2019 season. To register, download, and complete both a registration form and a waiver form from their website, lakescurling-nh.org slash membership. The Lakes Region Curling Association will hold eight weekly matches which take place on Sunday evenings from 5.15 to 7.15 p.m. at the Pop Oil and Ice and Art Center. For more information, go to that website. Here it is again on your screen, lakescurling-nh.org. A special exhibit will be on display at the Wright U Museum and remains on display until October 31st. The exhibit is called The Last Good War, The Faces and Voices of World War II. This exhibit documents the pictures and the words of veterans across the country who fought in the last good war. Also note, the Wright Museum is accepting donations to support the Kingswood Regional High School Food Pantry. Donations may be submitted at the Wright Museum from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m., Monday through Saturday, and from 12 noon until 4 p.m. on Sundays. Okay, let's hear from the Parks and Recreation Department for an update on upcoming programs and activities. Recreation Director Christine Collins is at her desk to tell us about the new brochure, the upcoming turkey trot, and lots more. Over to you, Christine Collins. Thanks, Will. Christine Collins here with Wolfboro Parks and Recreation and just want to share what's happening over here. So, we are in the midst of putting our ice down. Um, actually, it's water that we create to be ice. So they just painted the ice. Um, I think I've talked about this before. If you've never seen it, it's pretty awesome to see. So we have to um, put a couple layers of water down, which then freeze once we bring the chillers up to freeze that pave, that cement. And then once we have a couple layers down, it's more than a couple. Um, we have a science to it, how many layers we put down. Then we actually paint the ice. So I know if you look at it, you're like, oh, it's white because ice could be could look white. Um, but actually it's painted. And then we put our curling lines on. We put all the lines on for the hockey games and all that. And then they put more layers of water. So that's what we're doing right now. We've already painted the ice. We're putting those layers of water to freeze. And I believe the thickness um, is probably six inches total. Um, don't quote me on that, but I, I think that's what my crew told me. Um, and we are destined to open October 12th. So check online. Online is the best way to check for up-to-date information on when we're open on weekends. Um, 
Typically during the week, our schedule doesn't change too much. I think Wednesday is the only day we ask you to look online. But uh, online just gives you, like, we have up-to-date information. Like I said, things change due to games. Uh, for instance, this weekend, we have a group renting that is coming in later. So we actually have pushed everything back. And then don't forget Columbus Day, which is a Monday, um, is a holiday for some people. And we do have some public skating hours. So I know it's still nice outside, but get those skates out and let's get on that ice because we're ready for you. Okay, perfect. So that's that. Also, you want to get online as well because we have, um, like, we'll have a Halloween skating party. We have an ugly sweater skating party. So check that out. Come over with your family. We try to put on crazy lights and just have a good time over here. There's snacks and just fun stuff to do. So it's a good time and it's pretty local. Uh, so that's the first thing. The second thing is a new program we're offering for adults. It's a Learn to Pearl, Curl program. So we do have... Um, a curling league that is here Sunday nights and that's for, for people who typically have curled before they've played on a regular basis. This program right here is actually geared to just adults. Um, it We're offering two sessions. The first session starts in November and it's basically an introduction to curling. So if you've never curled before, maybe you've only done it one or two times, this is the program to get into to kind of get you up to where you need to be so then in the future you can join that curling league. Um, and it's a lot cheaper than the curling league because you're still learning. Um, and then once you get into that curling league, it's a little bit more investment. So this is a good way to see, one, if you like it, and two, um, it's affordable. So it is during the week, 10 to 11 a.m. on Wednesdays. Um, so check it out. It's a four-week session at $60 per person, and honestly, even if you did it one time, put it on your bucket list and check it off. You've done it, you know? So something cool to try, and again, local. We love that. Uh, what else we have going on? We do have the Ben Baldwin Hockey Tournament that's coming up, and that's October 19th and 20th. So even if you're not a hockey player, this is a great event to come to and show your support to the Baldwin family and just remember Ben with us. So we'd love it if you could do that. Uh, and we had uh, our Safe Sitter babysitting course filled up. So we actually added another session. So it is not in our brochure that came out recently, but we did put it online. So that's the good thing about, um, we have that brochure that kind of gets you to the point where you need to be. But some, not everything's on there. So you really want to go online because we always add different things. So we did add that. I know we have a couple more adult paint nights and um, woodworking classes we need to get in the system as well. So just stay tuned for that. We're always trying to hear the people and put on there what you're looking for. So we've been busy over here trying to get Pop Whalen up and running. And then once that's going, we're over to Abenaki trying to get that going. But we'd love to see you. We're excited for a new season, so we'll see you soon. Thanks, Well, back to you. Thank you, Christine Collins. The library has reopened. They have new pavement and an awesome new front entrance. Library Director Cindy Scott is ready to tell us what's coming up at the Wolfboro Public Library. Over to you, Cindy Scott. Thanks, Will. Coming up at the library, we'll be closed Monday, October 14th in observance of Columbus Day. On Tuesday, October 15th at 6 p.m., we have our evening book group, and they will be discussing Washington Black by S.E. Ed Dugia. It's a book about a slave from Barbados and his journey to freedom. On Wednesday, October 16th at 10 a.m., we have a genealogy program. It's part of D.I.'s series, and she'll present a workshop on using the Family Search Memories Gallery and it will be at the Family History Center at the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. For children, we don't have any programs this week because Mrs. Widmer is going to be going on a vacation, so there'll be no story times uh, this week coming up. Thank you. Back to you, Will. Thank you, Cindy Scott. Let's go over to the Mike and the Haas Sports Center. To hear from Mike Denae and Mr. Hossack, they are going to tell us about all of the upcoming home games for the Kingswood Knights. Over to you, Mr. Denae and Mr. Hossack. Thanks, Will. All right, Charlie, we're going to talk about what's going on this week in Wolfboro. All right. Uh, Friday night, homecoming. Yeah. Uh, the football boys taking yeah. on Plymouth. It's going to be a fun game. Yep, they're 2-3, and three, so hopefully they can, you know. Get back yeah, on track. Beat, we haven't beaten Plymouth in a long time. No, it's been a while. Uh, Saturday, field hockey versus Merrimack Valley. Ooh. 12.30. That's great. So the, the field hockey's next game is Wednesday. 
yes, tomorrow. Tomorrow but, for so us. this will be, yeah. Yeah. And then we go all the way to next Tuesday. The soccer boys are going to be hosting Kennett, so a little Carroll County rivalry. Oh, I like that. Wednesday, field hockey is going to be Sauhegan. Now, that's senior night. Okay. I saw that senior night. So that's 5.30 all right. uh, next Wednesday. Thursday's the golf playoffs. We talked about some teams mm. making the playoffs. Yeah. Um, that's at Sky Meadow Country Club. I don't know if you plan on going down there. but Where is it? Nashua. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Maybe not. It's during the school day, so it would be tough to get out of that one. <laughs> I don't think I'll be going. And also the cross-country team is going to be hosting a meet on Thursday. Oh, that's awesome. Have you ever been to one? Never. Lots of fun. Is so it? you need to come. We, we'll go that together. Okay. Yeah, we, we broadcast great. that? Is that something we broadcast? I think we should. All okay. right. Let's do it. All right. Back to you, Will. Thank you, Mr. Diné and Mr. Hossack. And now we will wrap up today's show program with a report from St. Catherine Drexel Catholic Church. Father Cole is at the church to give us an update on their upcoming programs. Hello, Father Cole. Well, hi, Will. Here we are now, almost in the middle of uh, October. The foliage is beautiful. The sun is out, and uh, we're having visitors come and uh, by the busloads to uh, to to see what it's like here in, in uh, New Hampshire at the Lakes Region. So this Friday, the 11th, of course, we have morning mass at 8 o'clock and then adoration from uh, 8.30 until 3. And at, once again, our church is open from 7 o'clock in the morning until 3 o'clock in the afternoon, Monday through Friday. So you can come and visit, come in and pray, uh, have some quiet time with our Lord. And we're very grateful, uh, grateful for that. And then we begin Columbus Day weekend. Uh, Monday, of course, will be the Columbus Day celebration. Saturday Mass is at 4, and then Sunday morning, 8.30 and 10.30. And our Knights of Columbus uh, will have their recruitment weekend when we try to uh, invite uh, men to join the, the Knights of Columbus. Uh, and, of course, we're very grateful uh, that the faith came to the New World when Christopher Columbus came in 1492, uh, bringing with him uh, the faith uh, to the New World. And, of course, it has spread over the past uh, 500 years, uh, very, very much so in both North and South and Central uh, America. So we have much to be grateful for this Columbus uh, weekend. Now then, uh, our gift shop will be open between Masses. It's, a, it's worth it. Visit if you haven't been. It's a little shop, but has many, many things. And then uh, the Discovery Group on Sunday night, the 13th, uh, at 7 o'clock, is having the Rosary in honor of uh, Our Lady of Fatima, the 13th of each month. So you're welcome to come to that. Monday, of course, uh, the celebration of Columbus Day, the office will be closed. We do have morning mass at 8. And then uh, Tuesday, at once again, the choir rehearsal. We're looking for new members for the choir. You're most welcome to come and, and join. Come around 6.30, and Elizabeth McRae will be happy to uh, bring you into the choir loft. Uh, now then, on Thursday, the 17th, Catholic Charities of New Hampshire are having a special Mass here. Uh, and so come at 6 o'clock. Bishop Labashi will be here uh, for that Mass. There'll be a reception following downstairs uh, to honor and, and thank those who have helped contribute to Catholic Charities uh, this past this past year. It's open to the public, six o'clock, with a reception following in the parish hall. Friday, once again, is Eucharistic Adoration. Friday, the 18th, and then at eight o'clock Friday night, the junior high and high school are having their what they call their lock-in. Uh, you can stay uh, from eight o'clock until 11:30. Or you can stay all night if you wish uh, until the morning when we have uh, breakfast on Saturday morning, uh, the, the, uh, the 19th. Uh, so there you have it. There's another week here at St. Catherine Drexel. And tell the kids don't go to school on Monday, Columbus Day. Take care now. Thank you, Father Cole. Well, Mom, we did it. Yes, Caden, we did. That's all we have for this week. Thank you for tuning in to our weekly program. Remember, there is always something to do in and around Wolfboro. If you would like to add an event to our program, please contact the Wolfboro Community Television Station at 569-0219 or send an email to wctv25 at gmail.com. We hope to see you out and about. And we look forward to seeing you next week. William would have me say, with clear eyes and full hearts, I am Caden Lang. And I am Shelley Lang. 
for Wolfboro Community Television. Bringing your community into view.